today what we're doing, I'm spreading some topsoil on a mound septic system. I got my uh, phone here kind of wedged in the cup holder to see if we can get a little bit of video. I'm not sure what it's going to look like here. I'll try my best. We'll see what happens. Uh, this topsoil we're spreading, it uh, doesn't have to be screened. It can be unscreened, but... Uh, you do want it to be pretty clean. Uh, you know, you don't want a lot of rock or bricks or, you know, anything of that nature. And it, uh, this topsoil here, the homeowner actually supplied. And it's uh, it's actually really good stuff. It's kind of uh, almost like a peat moss topsoil. Uh, it has a lot of organics in it. So, it, uh, it will definitely grow very good grass, that is for sure. So, above what we're doing, we're spreading this out here to about six to eight inches thick. And uh, I kind of pat it down the bucket, makes it look a little better. But uh, like I said, this is on a mound septic system. So, but so typically what we do on this is I'll get a bucket and uh, you always start right here on the center. Uh, this is kind of the most important right here. You definitely want to get at least 8 to 10 inches on uh, right here. And uh, get it on there. Then I always take the bucket and just kind of pat down on it. Then we can uh, get some more for the back slope. Uh, I always try to keep a topsoil as I work down the mound. Any extra, I keep bringing it with me. Uh, try to keep it nice and neat. That way it's not all over. Because uh, like when we haul it in ourselves, you know, and buying it, you know, ultimately you don't want to lose a whole bunch in the yard or in the field or wherever you're spreading it, you know, then you won't have enough, you know, so. So we'll get this, uh, all on the lower side of the mound spread out and then we'll do the upper side so better to be a little thick than a little thin. We'll, uh, pat it down. So I've been trying to figure out a way to be able to video here while I'm running the equipment. Uh, but I don't have nothing to hold my phone and I don't I just use my phone for all these videos I don't use a ca uh, video camera So like I said, I think I figured it out I got her wedged in there with a water bottle and a cup holder So we can get a little bit of film in here Sometimes what we do is instead of me having to come back and keep kind of messing with this topsoil, if uh, my brother or my dad's not busy, they'll fall behind with the skid steer and keep pushing this excess down to me so I don't have to mess with uh, keeping it nice and neat. 
but uh, they're actually talking with our inspector right now, and uh, as soon as they get done talking with the inspector, they're going to start working on another part of the system. So. So it'll take me a little longer than normal, but uh, be all right though. thing with these mound systems you don't uh, you don't want your topsoil to be real heavy clay uh, you know because these mound systems they're meant to for some of the water to evaporate instead of soaking down through the sand and into the ground uh, so if you use a real heavy clay topsoil you're not going to get the evaporation out of it that you need At the bottom, you always want to make sure you get your topsoil. Well, at least I always like to get it a minimum of a foot past the end of that sand. That's a minimum. That way, it helps kind of uh, make it a little barrier. That way, in the springtime, if it's really getting a lot of rain and it's really saturated this mound, it uh, won't blow out as bad. I'll keep kicking that topsoil back and keeping it loose. It's easier when you get a scoop. Don't fill this bucket. Don't pack it in there because then it comes out with big clumps. You uh, just keep it in uh, nice loose buckets. When, you, when you're grabbing it, it comes out a lot easier. And then you can watch for uh, any big stones or any bricks or you know, of that nature coming down on it. working on it's about uh, here I'll spin and show you it's about uh, 200 foot long you can see that move the block you can see the center line going the whole way down through there so I gotta go down through here on this whole mound and do this so it takes a little bit of time but not too bad and it's uh this type of work is really uh, easy on the equipment you're not running it hard uh, you know, you're not digging hard, you're just moving loose material, and so it's uh, really easy on it.
quite sit and quite level. It's just kind of a pain in the butt. But if you take your time, the easier, uh, the better you can get this to look. The easier it is and by the time you go over it with a hand rake. Because you can't drive, you can't drive nothing on these mount systems. So virtually every, all the raking, everything's got to be done by hand. So, but well, that's what it is. So I'll get busy and get the rest of this done. So...